Hi Ben. I'm Ben. I'm a paleontologist from Museums Victoria, and I'm fascinated by the world around us. And today we're going to be looking at one of the most aberrant and bizarre forms of whales on the planet. The beaked whales. They are the deepest diving mammals of all time. They can hold their breath for over two hours and dive almost three kilometers below the surface of the water. This is Blainville's beaked whale. And one thing you might notice about it are the heavily engorged tusks in the lower jaw. That, coupled with their bizarre skull, makes them one of the weirdest animals ever found in the animal kingdom. Check out this tusk from Mesoplodon densorostris or Blainville's beaked whale. What a cute little nubbin right at the top there. They use these tusks or engorged teeth as a means for sparring amongst one another. And if you check out the hide of a number of beaked whales, they have these horrific scars all over their body. Generally speaking, in the genus Mesoplodon, only the males grow these engorged tusks. It's pretty incredible. So we know that beaked whales are incredibly strange. This is the skull from Blainville's beaked whale. It has what is arguably the densest bone ever recorded in the animal kingdom, its nose or rostra, and we're not entirely sure why it's so dense. We found some of these rostrums in the lost world of Bayside. The only one we've actually ever found looks like this. It was found by a young Tim Flannery in 1977. It remains the oldest evidence of beaked whales on the continent of Australia. But recently, we made a startling discovery. In March 2020, good friend and citizen scientist Connor Brecken was coming out from a dive in Bayside, Victoria, Australia. He called out to me, Hey Ben, come and check it out, I think I got something. He reached into his dive bag and it was this. It was a portion of skull from a beaked well. The cross section was unmistakable. And I said, that's incredible. It's over five million years of age. What an amazing discovery. And then, my mind clicked back to the find that Tim Flannery had found in 1977. Could they possibly fit together? We went into the labs in Museums Victoria to find out. So we went into the labs in Museums Victoria to see if they would join up and lo and behold they did these photos were taken just moments after they were reunited more than five million and 43 years in the making this bit of skull remains the oldest evidence of beaked whales on the continent of australia this is the lost world of bayside like you've never seen it before Ben out did you enjoy that story Fantastic. Well, what you can do, like, subscribe, and other than that.